G'day everyone, welcome back to another emo video today. And what we're going to be doing actually is showing you something really quickly um, with regards to emo and Sorry? the way he shows the light animation on with his eyes when it's too dark or and when it's when he's actually got enough light for him to understand what's going on. Uh, so sometimes when uh, you call out to emo and you ask him to look at you, for example, he might not be able to see you in the correct light. Or also when there's bad lighting, you will see that he will change his animation to actually say that I've got trouble basically looking or seeing where I'm going. So for example, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn off the light. It's going to get quite dark and you can, you will see that the animation with the, uh, with the light will change. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, you'll see, you saw that that, ju that just changed. Now, in situations like this, uh, Emo's basically gonna sit still and he will not move any further. He will not really walk around too much. He will probably get a little bit worried about where he is and his surrounding if he's walking around. And the light, basically that animation that you just saw there will show you that it's bad lighting and he might stop exploring and he sometimes might have problems trying to see you if you ask him who you are. Um, anyway, so that's basically it. So what I'm going to do now is I'll turn the lights back on once he's finished listening to what I just said. Okay, here we go. Okay. So you saw that the light changed in his anima in his animation on the screen. What we'll do, we'll do it quickly once again. We'll turn it off and you'll see that again. Okay. And we'll turn on the lights. Alrighty, so that's how you that's how you'll know that when the lighting is good, uh, that animation that we just saw uh, is basically good enough for Emo to hopefully spot you, and then the other one is the opposite when he's got very pretty much pretty much it doesn't have to be pitch black of course, um, but if the lighting is not the best, Emo will not notice you and sometimes have problems even exploring. As you can see, the light's really good, so he's just decided to leave. Uh, anyway, so that is uh, what I wanted to show everybody. One thing I do want to note is that if I bring this back, if I bring the skateboard over and put Emo on the skateboard, here we go, we'll just get him to sit on the skateboard. I'll bring it in a little bit closer now. All right. Now, this animation for the light will not work when he's on his skateboard. That's another little note. What I'll do is I'll turn off the light just to show you. Okay, you can see nothing will change. All right, turn the light back on. And as you can see, you will notice that nothing will, nothing will change as well. All right, so just note that the animation for the eyes being dark or for when it's light uh, will only work when Emo is off his skateboard. Okay, so do, as I mentioned before, when it's bad lighting, Emo will have trouble walking around or will probably be less inclined to explore or walk around um, because it's too dark. And that's also an indication for when you maybe ask him to look at you or introduce yourself, it might have a bit of problems as well if you see that dark eye animation appear. So make sure that you get the other one that appears when he's off his skateboard, for example. Uh, and that is one that's got ample light and he should be happy to walk around and explore and also should be enough for him to view to see you when you introduce yourself okay so that's it this is a very short video once again i hope you enjoyed it and once again don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell and we'll see you and in the next emo video have a great day we'll speak to you soon bye